So my inspiration for the trap itself was um, Florida style seafood. Um, I have a couple really good friends that live in Florida, specifically Jacksonville, and the way that they do their garlic crab trays is like almost unlike anything else in the country. I just kind of fell in love with that. With, I love crab, love seafood anyway, so I fell in love with that just aspect of seafood, and I knew that we didn't have anything like that here in Indianapolis. So I kind of got into my kitchen, got into my lab, and tried to come up with the same garlic sauce that they came up with and I couldn't recreate it. However, what I did create <laughs> was fantastic. Trap butter is so special um, to me in particular um, because like I said, it, it took me a minute to try to formulate something that was going to be a, a reasonable facsimile of what I had already had in Florida. It's become just really popular and really kind of synonymous almost with um, seafood now. This particular location um, has been the home of a couple of other really amazing black owned food spots as well. So it's almost like a legacy thing that I'm really, really proud of and whoever comes in after me, I hope is able to do even more things. I did live here in the neighborhood and I'm here so much. I've been able to garner really good relationships with everybody around here, like the owners of the gas stations or the people that work in the gas stations, the school across the street, um, a lot of the neighbors. I mean, I know their names and they know mine and we keep a really good reputation here. And I think now it's, it's a foodie spot. If you are new in town or just visiting, you should definitely come and visit The Trap, not only because we are literally one of the most Instagrammable spots in the city, at the Trap Seafood on Instagram. You're going to get food and you're going to get an experience that you're really not gonna get anywhere else. Like there's nowhere else here in the city that you can go up to a walk-up window and go through this crazy menu and like literally pick exactly what you want, exactly how you want it sauced, exactly what you want on your seasonings, you know what I'm saying? And when you get this tray, you open it up and it looks exactly like it looks on Instagram. The black restaurant scene here in Indianapolis has really grown to this beautiful community of entrepreneurs and creatives um, that are really doing their part um, to leave our stamp um, on the city and on its cuisine. Not only do we have great food, <laughs> but we have great customer service and you know good ways that we connect with the community and the, and the city as a whole.